Good morning. It's Brian with DD214 Transport. Please like, subscribe, hit the little bell for notifications. Come on in the house. Let's have a cup of coffee. We're going to talk about a few things. This morning, I wanted to give you an update on the Kurt 30,000K fifth wheel hitch. Now, this is the picture of the hitch when I first installed it. And I had some concerns about this hitch, not necessarily the hitch, but the pads that were on top. And what I found, you know, just to go back a little bit, when I called Kurt about this, their comments, when I asked him about how long it, you know, how long it would be, uh, these pads would be good for, and they said, well, depending on how much you use it. Good answer. So, <clears throat> anyway, what I was afraid was going to happen with this pad actually came true in a different way, though. And what, I'm, what I want to tell you about is this. As you can see on this picture, there is the slide plate for the gooseneck okay now in my case what happened was the trailer where I park it I parked my trailer at a buddy of mine's house and it is parked in the grass and what happened was the trailer actually settled a little bit I guess it'd be like this kind of settled a little bit on one side and I uh, didn't expect that to happen. Happen. So when I slid up under it, as you can see right here, the plastic pad caught a little lower on this side and broke that pad. It was cool that morning, kind of cold. I went up under it, broke it. Well, because I'm so anal about my stuff, I uh, decided I was going to let it go for a minute and then couldn't stand it, so I had to order the pads. Well, here's the second problem. When I went to order the pads, um, they were back-ordered. So it took three or four weeks, four weeks to get them, and I finally got them. And... I uh, basically put off changing it until I thought it was getting to the point that it was going to be breaking, and then that would be a problem. So I, I got them in, took about a month, got them in, and I started changing the pad. All right, so changing the pad is nothing. I mean, there's nothing to it. It's eight little teeny screws. The, here's the issue though. You will need, when you're changing these pads, you will need a magnetic screwdriver because there are a couple places in here that you just can't get to. You know, they have access holes, but you can't get to them unless you have a magnet. You can't get the screw to stay up. So this is, this picture I'm showing now, this picture is one, two, three, four, five, six. There's seven holes, okay? Um, and that you just take those off there. They come off. It's literally just a little screw in a flat washer. So this is the broken pad here. And another picture of that. And this is me putting the pad. Or this is with both pads on. It didn't take but 30 minutes but if I hadn't had that magnetic screwdriver, it would have been a pain. So be sure you have that if you have this hitch. Now, I particularly think that this plastic pad thing, I think that's a design issue. I, I don't like that at all. Um, you know, you don't see plastic on a semi. Uh, I, I think this was a good initiative, bad judgment. So... I went ahead and ordered a couple extra sets of these things. They're $30 a piece plus shipping. 
and I am being now very careful with how I back up under it. And what I do is I get, get it set, I'm right there close to it, and I get out and I look and I make sure that plate is going to line up with the bottom of the, of the fifth wheel because, you know, it should pick it up. And that's how a tractor trailer is done. You know, you always leave on a tractor trailer, you leave about this much under the gear so when you actually pull out from under it, it drops. That way you can blow your bags and come back in and it lifts it up and it's easier to spin. On this, you're not gonna be able to do that because it's gonna tear up these, these little plastic pads. So, guys, I just wanted to give you an update real quick on this and hope that does you some good. Veterans and first responders, Thank you very much for all you do and all you continue to do for this country. We will see you next time. This is Brian with DD214. Please like, subscribe, hit the little bell. Have a good day.